I'm thinking that is Union Station right there. Wow. Union Station Hotel, downtown St. Louis. Pretty awesome. Look at that, it is! Good morning, sir. Can you tell me where the train is to Glen Echo Country Club? I'm here to qualify for the 1904 Olympics at Glen Echo Country Club. Oh, just go this way, okay. Wow, this is a beautiful hotel. Hello, we're at the Union Station Hotel in downtown St. Louis which hosted golfers in the 1904 Olympics, where golf was played for the last time 112 years ago at Glen Echo Country Club. Here we go. Glen Echo Country Club. Wow, what a beautiful piece of land. Look at this golf course. I love how you drive into the course. You get a look at everything. Ooh, a lot up and down. Lots of up and down. Look at that place. Wow. Shoot one right here. Okay. Um, just try to get like, uh, you know, try to get like that. Not so much of the sky, but like that. And okay. Like, my head shot out. I'm going to be down here. Oh, okay. So you can kind of get the. Do you see? Huh? Is, is that, let me see if that. No, works. that's pretty good. So sometimes you got to get a little closer. It was just uh, put me right in that tree. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, maybe I'll just stand up here. How's that? That's good. Move a little bit to your right. And then you got both fairways. Okay. Very good. And it's got REC on it, right? Uh-huh. Hello, this is Andy Reistetter on a journey to Olympic golf. Here at Glen Echo Country Club in St. Louis, the home of Olympic golf in 1904. As you can see, I'm already out on the course playing, but we got a great day here at the club. We're going to meet Rob Stewart, the general manager, and Jim Story, the president hear what they have to say about the club and hosting the 1904 Olympics. Then we're going to meet some members and then we're going to come out here and play some hickory clubs 
and just enjoy this beautiful golf course like they did in 1904. Nice ball. Nice shot. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh my Might have goodness. been a nice little birthday gift, huh? No kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's really got a hole in one. That would been something. Hi, I'm here with Jim Story, the president of Glen Echo Country Club, and we're like a couple kids out here playing golf until dark. You can see the uh, the lights getting pretty pretty uh, dim. Jim, I want to thank you for an awesome day here. It was uh, incredible. Uh, your thoughts about uh, this club hosting the 1904 Olympics? Well, Andy, it's been great to have you, and we're very proud of that we've had the Olympics here at Glen Echo. We fly the flag every day. We're aware, you know, aware of the history, and we're also proud that this golf course has withstood the test of time. It's still a great challenge of your golfing ability, and we look forward to the 2016 Olympics. I think golf is a sport that should be competed amongst amateurs, or at least in the, the amateur setting of the International Olympics, and it's it's really exciting. Again, I just want to thank you so much for having it's been a having pleasure me. having you here for the day. It's really is. It's a it's a place that I call my second home. Glen Echo Country Club, uh, quite a special place, not only just in the history of the game of golf, but just in golf general. It's a beautiful country club here. Thank you. Wow, what an awesome day here at Glen Echo Country Club. All the wonderful people I met, including Ernie Coe and Bob Saito, uh, longtime members here that shared some of their stories of the club and the historical role it has in the Olympics and the playing of Olympic golf. We got to play some hickories out there, saw a lot of memorabilia, just been a fantastic day. Hey, this is Andy Reistetter on a journey to Olympic golf, and it's all about the spirit of golf for golfers. And in 1904, right here at Glen Echo Country Club, George Lyons won the final match and became an Olympic gold medalist, the last to do so. Again, 112 years before we'll see golf again in the Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. And right here in the Grand Hall, it is, history says, uh, George Lyons walked on his hands from one end of the hall to another. Now he's 46, I'm actually 54, today's my birthday, so I'm not gonna walk on my hands, but I'm gonna do my customary six push-ups to capture that spirit of Olympic golf. Counting. This guy walked on his hands, and this is a huge room. It's probably 50 yards wide. So who said golf wasn't a sport, even back in 1904? I hope so. I'd take that score tomorrow morning. Impressive. Where do you got the hickory guy at? I got you a two over, Andy. <laughs> That's not bad. Not, for, not with those old clubs. <laughs>